Well, hello. Uh, we're just at the end of a few days in Bangkok. I'm stood, I'm stood, I'm actually sat um, right at the top of the M Quarter shopping centre with a uh, Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew Float, uh, which I can't wait to try. Uh, but in this video, we get to Bangkok for the first leg of our Southeast Asia trip. Um, day one, we take a trip to Koh San Road. Stay watching and you'll see how Koh San Road has changed since, since COVID, I guess. Um, it's very, very different to how I remember it, but stay watching and you'll see that. And we take a trip to Wat Aran as well. It's an amazing, beautiful temple. Um, so you'll see that. We go up the Labua Tower. I haven't taken this camera with me, but I'll, I'll drop some photos in of the Labua Tower as well. It's where the hangover was filmed. Uh, I'll show you the hotel we stayed in. Of course, we stopped in the Adelphi 49, just off Thong Law Road and it was sunny. We had a little sweet, but keep watching and you get to see the rest of our hotel as well. Uh, today, we've done a few cheaper things today, but it's been great. Uh, we got the BTS Sky Train uh, from Thong Law Road to uh, the Terminal 21 Shopping Centre. The food in there is so worth doing. Um, I'll give you some tips on where to get the food from in Terminal 21. We get the train back and we realise there's another shopping centre, which is the M Quarter. Uh, tomorrow, we're off to Koh Samui, uh, so stay watching and you're going to see loads of Bangkok and loads of how things have changed here in one of the most amazing capital cities in the world. Uh, but we're now here in warm, humid, humid, humid and hot Bangkok. It's about 32 degrees out. It's the morning and we're going to go out exploring. Uh, we've got some happy Chinese cake. Happy New Year, Chinese cake. Don't you come float out with your Chinese cake. Um, so we're going to go out exploring. Probably going to go to Wat Aran, the reclining Buddha. Um, maybe pop to the market at Koh San Road because we want some cheap vests and t-shirts. Um, we're staying in Adelphi 49, which I got for Liz as a bit of a birthday present. Um, but it's an amazing hotel. We're really, really happy because well, a few things we're really really happy about one full kitchen and washing machine I just put the washing machine on today uh, we've got a massive bedroom we've got a really fancy toilet as well with a heated seat I'll show you that in a second um, bedroom in there full bed and a sofa at the end of the bed what more could you want from a bedroom than a sofa at the end of the bed like we've got the most fancy of toilets here we've got enema functions posterior washes and the toilet seat is actually heated a bit I'm not enjoying a heating toilet seat. Liz, however, loves it. So, before we start exploring Bangkok, we thought we'd explore the hotel. We've just come up to the top floor at Van Der Pool. There's a sun deck and it is so hot here today. So I'm not sure how long we're gonna last out in Bangkok before we end up back here at the pool. I mean, this place is bonkers. Just Bangkok itself is huge. Well, we've just got to Koh San Row and I can't get over how much it's changed here. Uh, so since the pandemic, they pedestrianised the whole road. Uh, so there's bollards, as you can see, all the way up and down the road now. All the markets are repeated to be pushed back into shops. So it's so different here. And um, our favourite place to get Pad Thai, which is where I first had Pad Thai, Liz first had Pad Thai, appears not to be here anymore. Uh, so we're going to go have a look around anyway. But yeah, it's so, so different how it's been in the past. Uh, this is my fourth time here, and I can't get over how different it actually feels. So yeah, we just walked from Koh San Road down Susie's walking alley, which was quite close, and we've ended up on Rambutra Street, which feels a lot more open, and feels like how it used to here, so it feels a lot nicer actually, so we're going to explore and some food. One thing uh, I have noticed is I think they've made cannabis legal here in hell, because every other shop, if it's not a massage parlour, it's a weird shop, and it stinks. It's not the normal Bangkok smells, it's just that weedy B.O. smell. Thai basil, uh, chilies, stir fry with mincemeat chicken. Just want something light. Like. 
Uh, we've just crossed the river to Wat Arrow, which is behind me. Uh, good thing is 100 baht in, you get a free bottle of water, and also if your shoulders are out and knees are out, if you're female, you get to wrap up with lovely fleecy. <laughs> fleecy shawl <laughs> and matching skirt. I'm all right, uh, but yeah. So doesn't matter if you forgot anything to wear for the temples. They do tend to supply things here, which is rather handy. First time I've been here in a few years where there's no scaffolding on this. It looks incredible. Like, I think it just won't do justice. It looks amazing. Well, good morning, stroke afternoon from Bangkok. Uh, we're just off to Terminal 21. Uh, it's a big ball, there's got different theme levels. And we're going to take the SkyTrain there. I've not used the SkyTrain in Bangkok, it's a BTS. Uh, but it runs just along the main roads up there. So we're going to take that and get on to Terminal 21 and see what is there. What we need to be awesome. That's our day today. And it's weirdly like a global village here. It's like levels of shopping, all with different themed floors. The shops are themed, but not necessarily themed to that country. They're selling their own themes, but themed within the country. So we're on London at the moment, so the island of London, of course, is uh, the people cleaning the just as uh, big features. Uh, so yeah, it's all themed on the floor, but the shops aren't necessarily London shops. So in Terminal 21, Pier 21 is right on the top floor, so we got to San Francisco floor. We nearly stopped at one of the Japanese restaurants down there. They look really nice. But if you go up another floor, it's so cheap. It's so, so cheap for this. such a good plate of food. And we've even got extra for dessert. What will we have? Baked cheese tart place. Yeah, I've got to try one. No idea. This could be savoury, could be sweet. But you know, it looks delicious. Um, so you get some baked cheese tart. So we, I think it is savoury, but it's also quite sweet and delicious. It's like um, it's like a bit of a souffle meets cheesecake. It's very odd, very crumbly. I'm really not sure what I have there. It's um, she's confused. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a cheesy tart, but it's still savoury, but it is a bit sweet, isn't it? It's like a sweet, cheesy, savoury tart, but it's like a souffle that's not quite risen. It's a gloopy cheese, it's delicious. I'm glad I didn't go any bigger than it. And I'll also... I don't know if it's the pastry that's sweet. I don't know, but it's... I might need to try another one tomorrow and decide, but... Try the baked cheese tart. It's 35, um, 35, what, where are we? Bars, 35 bar, that's a deal, we're not in uh, Bangkok anymore. No, we are in Bangkok, we're not in Dubai. Don't know who I am, where I am, been a long few days. Yeah. Ready for your lemon cheese. Oh, hello. <laughs> is it the lemon on the top? It tastes exactly the same, or maybe. Do you not have a, need a mouthful of lemon from the top? Mm. Has that made a difference? Did you just have the cheese? Mm. Yeah, better with lemon? Yeah, no. Oh. We got the sky train back one stop towards Stonville Road, and we went to the end quarters with the shop. Uh, maybe because there was something called Bounce in here, which is what we can look at. It's, I think we'd have been bored after 10 minutes with extrapolating the walls. But it looks pretty cool if you want to do something on a day and it's raining. Um, the top floor of M Court is a huge bounce park. But also, you walk out onto the top floor and found this huge secret hidden garden. It's got a uh, local drink, it's got an oyster bar. And the only thing that I'm really struggling with is there's a glass door which is across the other side. And, uh, I can't do that at all, hang on, I'll turn you around. 
the kid on there at the moment. I really can't do glass floors. My hands are sweating. I'm struggling to even hold this. That's my predicament at the moment. I'm going to stuck on this side, waiting for her to come back. So we're going to hope we stay down and drink hard. I don't think I'll be having any questions. Um, just to try and get across the gas floor, though. My hands are dripping with sweat. And my feet do tingling feet. But why put a glass floor somewhere for me to walk across? I can't do it really angry. I don't get to get the lift out of the other side. It's the only way for me to do it. The grip that's waterfall thing is here, it's really nice. Well, I made it to the other side of the glass bridge by shouting, the short speed, short, and running across the running, I had to hold on to something, but went across the, uh, the narrowest bit of the circle. Why would you? Why? Wasn't your advice. Your bit was to walk across the bridge with a middle way before we start getting the steep foot. That didn't use your advice at all. <laughs> so don't you give me that. Anyway, I walked across the, the shortest bit, not the longest bit of the circle, because that's the most dangerous. And we're on the other side now, and there's a handy starry bees there, but this side is a full on, um, full on rooftop garden forest, complete with very authentic time. I mean, why wouldn't you want to be in Captain Time? Um, no, it looks amazing up here. Uh, there's water features and as a meerkat, and it looks lovely up here. In fact, if you can stay a bit longer, we've got about an hour or so until sunset. But um, I think if we stay over here, oh, what's on the other side? This is the hotel we're going to stop in next time at Capital Island. I'll turn you around and have a quick look. We're going to stay in that hotel. Look at our rooftop pool. We're staying there. I think if we stay here, we should get an amazing sunset actually. It should be quite nice. Um, but yeah, it's full rooftop garden up here. Yeah, I made it over. I don't know what everybody was moaning about. It was easy to come across. It's um, so full on water park right there. It's amazing. They're saying we should stay here to sunset. I think it looks pretty cool when the sunset is it not? There is a bar. Dreadfully how much it was all spent. Uh, we went to the Labua Tower last night, which is where The Hangover was filmed. You know the very iconic bit in The Hangover where they realise they've lost the kid and they're sitting on those steps? Well, that's the Labua Tower and uh, my mum bought these some birthday drinks. I say some, she managed to get a singular birthday drink. Saved it. Because the cocktails up there were a fortune. I say a fortune, they were expensive. Uh, but you don't have to pay to go up there, so if you go to the Boomer's House, you can go up to the Sky Bar. You're not paying an entry fee, but it's not cheap, so it's one of those. I can go down this side. There's lifts this side. This isn't this isn't detached from everywhere. It's not a floating garden. It's really nice here. So this is the M quarter. Lots of different quarters within the walls, either like the glass quarter, the waterfall quarter. Uh, we're at the top floor, joined between the two by the glass bridge. It's just a full-on sort of mini botanical garden here for pretty water features, bird cages. Are you posing? Uh, so yeah, we've had a great couple of days in Bangkok. We're flying to Koh Samui tomorrow. Uh, we're going to spend six days in the end of Koh Samui. Uh, we've got six nights. We've got two different hotels. But we're going to go to Koh Phangan, but our hotel is cancelled. Um, and everywhere we're looking at Koh Phangan, it's very, very full. It's not a half moon party or full moon party, but something's happening there because it's very, very busy. So we're just going to spend the extra few nights in Koh Samui and not rush anywhere. Uh, but. Explore Bangkok, the BTS, the Skytrain is amazing to use um, and if you want a fancy drink and have got the budget to do so, make sure you go up to the Labua Tower and have a drink. It's free entry, free to go up but you should have a drink really because... I drink Thai kiss. You had a Thai kiss, I had the Royals. Yours was delicious. Uh, but you can have a hangover tiki which was made for the stars of the hangover and the production crew. It is amazing but not the cheapest, but you are getting the most amazing views over Thailand. Her draw hit the floor when she walked out. That's happened a lot these past few days. Hopefully we won't have too much, too much at height anymore. We've uh, done the main down. Everything else needs to be on the flat and close to the sea. That will make me happy for the next few days anyway. Should we go and get a start? I need some cold and refresh us. Yeah, right, we'll talk to you in a bit. Have a lovely day, talk to you soon.